Moving on to the next question. Uh, Chopelli, there is obviously a name. We've been talking about someone turning matches, but there is someone who will turn the game, someone who thinks a lot and clearly is settled into the minds of all the Australians. It's Ravi Chandran Ashwin. No prizes for guessing who we're talking about. We've seen they've got we've they've got a little uh, doppelganger who's in, who's been helping them out in practice. Who do you think is going to be the biggest threat for the Aussie batting lineup? The bloke who takes the wickets, that will be the threat. Um, I mean, why is Ashwin uh, likely to be a threat? Because he's a smart cricketer. Uh, Ashwin sees what's happening with the pitch, with the batsman, and he bowls accordingly. So Ashwin is always going to be a problem for batsmen, but it's the way the batsmen approach Ashwin. And uh, if you're going to let Ashwin bowl the way that he wants to bowl, then you're in trouble. But if you're a player who is good enough uh, and succeeds enough to give Ashwin something to think about, then you've got a chance of getting on top of it. But he'll be, uh, he'll be a threat to Australia throughout. Um, I, I read somewhere where one of the Australian players said, uh, we have to be proactive, and that's what they've got to be. They've got to be proactive. And it, and it applies to when they're facing all the bowlers. But uh, number one, I would think, in the Indian side, would be being proactive against R. Ashwin. Uh, Ian, there's a question that follows up that's come, uh, that's come from PTI. Uh, it's, it's in two parts, just a little follow-up on the Ashwin bit. Are Australia overthinking Ashwin or does his calibre sort of demand that? And also, how do you see Manas Labuskakni fare on his first travels to, to India? Well, if you want to know how the Australian players are thinking about Ashwin, uh, ask the Australian players. I've got no idea, no idea how they're thinking about Ashwin. You've, you've obviously got to think about an opponent, and particularly a good opponent like Ashwin, but you, as I said, you've got to be thinking about being proactive because if you're not the one who is basically dictating terms, and that doesn't mean you're hitting him for fours and you're hitting him for sixes. Sometimes just getting regular singles off a bowler will frustrate him more than hitting him for four or six. Why doesn't it frustrate a really good bowler to get hit for four or six? Well, have a look at who he's bowling at next ball. He's bowling at the same batsman. But if you're getting singles on a regular basis, he's having to change who he bowls to. So that's why it's important to be proactive against uh, the bowlers. Uh, Ravi, similar question from PTI that has come for you. And I'll just add because I mean, you've been smiling all along, Ian's answer. You know Ravi Chandran Ashwin, speaking of proactive. Uh, Ashwin will probably be maybe a step ahead in his planning against, against the Australians. So, his sort of plans, how would he be going around right now? And the question that's come for you from PTI is, who's the third spinner according to you? If India add on to Ashwin and Jadeja, is it going to be Kuldeep or is it going to be Aksar Patel? Yeah, first with Ashwin, you know, one thing you don't want is for him to overplan. You know, he, he's good enough doing what he is, you know, and uh, sticking to that because I think he is a real crucial player here. His form might well decide the series, you know, because uh, Ashwin is a package, not just uh, with the ball, he will get you some important runs as well, well, you know, and if he's on fire in both departments, that might well, you know, decide the outcome of the series because uh, he's world class in uh, most conditions, but in Indian conditions, he can be lethal. You know, if the ball is spinning and biting, you know, he's got enough, uh, you know, enough uh, up his sleeve to trouble the Australian uh, batsman. But you don't want him to overthink and try too many things. You know, just keep it there and let the pitch do the rest because it does enough in India. As far as the other spinner goes, I'd like to see mm -hmm. Kuldeep playing straight away. You know, you've got Jadeja, so Jadeja, Aksar are pretty similar bowlers. Kuldeep is different. You know, if you lose the toss day one, you need someone who will give it a rip. And then if anyone spins it on day one, it will be Kuldi, you know, where if the track doesn't have too much on offer, you can, uh, you know, he can come into play. Plus, as the game progresses with the fast bowlers Australia have, India have, 
the rough will come into play where a wrist spinner can get out that bit further you know out and yet get it to spin back in you know both ways so i think he's crucial